Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to learn how to implement JavaScript isolation in Blazor. JavaScript isolation lets us create JavaScript modules that are loaded only when needed by a given Razor component. We'll talk about a few benefits of JavaScript isolation at the end of this video. So let's start Visual Studio. Click create a new project. Choose Blazor WebAssembly app. Give the project a name. Click next. Leave everything at the defaults. And finally click create. In the webroot folder, which is www root, let's go ahead and create a new folder called JS, which will hold our script. Let's right click the folder to add a new item. We'll create a file called mymodule.js. So this is our JavaScript module. So inside this file, let's export a function called show alert that takes in a message and passes it to windows alert function. The alert function tells the browser to display a dialogue with that message. Inside the pages folder where we have all our routable components, let's go ahead and create a new razor component called mycomponent.razor. Let's remove the heading. We'll add a page directive because this is a routable component. We also want to implement iAsync disposable because we want to be able to dispose the reference to the JavaScript module once we are done with it. And then we need to inject an IJS runtime abstraction which lets us import JavaScript modules and invoke JavaScript functionality. Now we can define any HTML and Razor markup that we need to. For our demo, we'll simply create a HTML button element with a bootstrap class of btn, btn warning. Let the button display show alert. When the button is clicked, we want it to invoke the show alert function in our JavaScript module that will display the browser dialog with that message. So let's define a directive attribute called onClick and set it to handle button click, which we'll write in just a bit. So now let's get to our C sharp code block and define our dispose async and handle button click methods. Now we want to import the JavaScript module that we defined earlier once the component has rendered for the first time. So in order to do that, let's override the on after render async lifecycle method that accepts first render as a boolean parameter. Let's include the async keyword in the method signature. Let's also create a field of type IJS object reference, which will hold the imported module. Now let's actually import the module by calling into js.invoke.async of ijs object reference. This ijs object reference will be the reference to the imported module. Now let's pass parameters to the invoke.async method. The first parameter will be the string import and the next parameter will be the path to the js module. Now since our current project is not a Razor class library, it's a Blazor WebAssembly application, we need to specify dot slash followed by the path and file name relative to www root directory or the web root folder. So since our JS module is present in the JS folder inside the web root folder, we specify JS slash mymodule.js. If the project was a Razor class library, then we should specify dot slash underscore content slash the package ID or assembly name. In every project, there's a csproj file. And if the csproj file contained a package ID element, then that should be specified. Otherwise, the package ID element defaults to the project's assembly name. And followed by that, we have the path to the script and file name. Now let's get to the handle button click event handler. Let's change the method signature to use async task. We'll first check if module is not null. 
in which case we will call invoke void async passing in the name of the javascript function in the module and for the second parameter we'll pass in a hard coded string message and finally in the dispose async method let's check if module is not null and call dispose async now let's run our application we'll copy the url segment let's navigate to the component by pasting the url segment and now click the show alert button and we see the message that's being called from our javascript module so what are the benefits of javascript isolation javascript isolation in general allows each javascript file to have its own local scope or namespace this means that if we declare multiple javascript modules say my module1.js and my module2.js then unless we specifically export a function or variable in the first module that function or variable is not accessible in the second module so this way any naming conflicts are prevented and code is also more maintainable and there is another benefit also let's say we are creating a razor component that imports a javascript module and we put that component in a razor class library then any consuming application that is an application that is trying to consume the razor class library does not have to import the javascript module with this we are come to the end of our video thanks for watching